Okay, so today, um, pretty much the last day before I go back to work. Um, so, first of all, this is the inlet chamber. I went through two places there, as you can see the hole, and just there. Now, I did actually um, fill up the area, but you can see, just see that light in the little corner? So I'll just put a JB Weldy on that. And this is the one that they say you're going to break through all the time, which is the oil hole. So I've actually machined. I'll put some ribs on it so it will stick. Um, I machined. A, a little tube which will go through it and that will be JB welded in as well and you can see that it uh, just fills that hole up nicely this will actually sit um, just below the uh, face because uh, oh yeah, you can just see that it protrudes a little bit too far so I'll let that drop down to about there and then the next one is the exhaust manifold um, again, this has just been dressed up, polished up, as you can see. Um, I went through um, just there, so I dressed that. You see, oh yeah, Oop. so you can see just down there. There you go. So that's where I'll push the weld through. So that's now sealed back up. Um, so what I could have done really is um, actually, because these are only 18 quid, I could have got like a, a, a just a chuck away head, board it out really roughly, but gone to an extreme and find out where the breakthrough points are. And then for this one, I could have missed it, but it's just meant a bit of extra work. I didn't really mind so much because again, uh, I'm quite happy with the result. Um, as it sits so last bit of the day is going to be just JB welded in welding in that tube and that little hole breakthrough hole just down get some light on it just down there and that's it ah, back to work now new year normal day cheers okay the cylinder head is back on the lathe this is where I've uh, machined the seats. They're done at the 60, oh, sorry, 60, 45, 30, both sides. They're quite small valves, so you don't really get to see it. Um, the valves have been blued just to make sure there's contacts all the way around. And all I've got to do now is uh, lap the valves in. The uh, shrouding is all done for both sides. So that one and this side. Um, if I want to face these off, uh, in other words, skim the head, I don't know if I will, but all I've got to do is um, just re-bolt it using the top um, face of the cylinder head. Um, I've got to do the uh, spring seats. I've got to recess them a bit. I won't know what that's going to be until I've built the engine to know if I've got coil bind or not. I will have coil bind because I've got a high lift cam and I've got double uh, springs. So that's the next phase. That's going to be quite a bit later though. Um, yeah, so this side's done. I'm now just waiting for the cylinder sleeve. Um, I've phoned the supplier and that should come hopefully next week, but we'll see. Okay, so this will be it for a while. Cheers.